Welcome back to the afternoon session for today, Tuesday, 15 December 2020. I hope you have all rested well and you are ready for this lesson. Okay, so let's get started with the first thing. If you are watching this video right now, please write your name in the comments or say hello teacher so that I can see that you are in class right now. Before we get to our lesson, we are going to quickly revise what we did in the morning. Okay, so this morning we did beginning sounds for letter G and letter E. Okay, and we're quickly going to go through some of the pictures so that you can just remember what we did before we move on to our next section. So listen carefully and watch and try and repeat each word as I say them. Okay, so let's go. Goldfish. Goldfish. Injured. Injured. Gift. Gift. Goggles. Goggles. Eel, eel, and iguana, iguana. Okay, now remember to practice saying these words so that your brain can remember them. Okay, what does teacher Michelle always say? Practice makes perfect. Okay. For now, we are finished working with the alphabet. We will come back to learning more letters of the alphabet after we learn a new story. Okay, but before we learn the new story, you need to know the words in the story so that it's easier for you to read when, when we get to reading the book. Okay, so I'm quickly going to go through some words. I'm going to explain the words to you so you understand a little bit more. And then we will get to reading the book later this week. So, the first word we're going to learn is shirt. 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 We all wear shirts, okay? We put it over our head, on our arms, and we put it on our chest. Okay? Yeah. Shirt. Okay? Next one. Skirt. Skirt. Skirts are what little girls wear. Most of the little girls wear skirts to school, part of your uniform. Yeah, skirt. The next picture is shorts. Shorts. Everybody likes to wear shorts when they're running around and playing. And the next one is a hat. I put a hat on my head so that the sun doesn't burn me. Okay, and socks, socks, I put socks on my feet, <laughs> I put socks on my feet, they put, kind of protect your feet, yes, okay, and the last word, shoes, shoes, I wear shoes over my socks, okay, so let's go through these words one more time, I'm going to say them softly, you can see the picture come up and the word come up. Try and repeat each word. Okay, so you're going to look, listen, repeat. One more time. Look, listen, repeat. You ready? Okay. Shirt. Shirt. Skirt. Skirt. Shorts. Shorts. And shoes. Shoes. Alright, so those are the new words that we are going to be learning so that you can understand the story. 
Okay, it's time for us to do our activities. As always, we have two activities. Activity number one, you're going to do your worksheet. Activity number two, you're going to record yourself telling me what items you are wearing. Okay, so let's explain quickly worksheet number one. If you look there, that's right, it's pictures of a little boy and a little girl. And then there's another page that's got a picture of all the clothing. Okay. So you must ask mommy or daddy to help you. You must get scissors and glue. And you're going to cut out all the little pictures. And you're going to glue them onto the boy or the little girl. So you're going to dress them. Okay? I know there isn't a name on the top of your worksheet, so please write your name somewhere on the worksheet. Activity number two. You're going to ask mommy or daddy, they're going to make a recording, and you're going to tell me what you are wearing. Okay, so you're going to show me, teacher, this is my shirt. Teacher, these are my shoes. I'm wearing a skirt or a short. Okay, so I, need, I want you to tell me what are you wearing today. Okay. And then when you're finished making the recording, upload it to the activities section on Class Dojo so that I can watch your videos. Okay. Good luck. That is the end of our lessons for today. You guys have been amazing. Keep up the good work. Again, thank you to the parents who are trying very hard so that we can make this online experience work for the children. Okay. Remember to do all your activities for all your subjects. And I will see you all tomorrow morning again. Goodbye!